The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. I wanted to show you the chart of the E-mini S&P. Uh, we've completed the double ABCD pattern down here at the 433 level, excuse me, 438 level. We've now made an ABCD to the upside, as you can see. Uh, the key was once we went above 43.61, we immediately went up to the 61% retracement, and we're trading at 43.71. Folks, this is a real important day here where we stand right now. From my perspective, I'll just show you what I'm looking at. You notice the last correction. This is an eight-minute bar. It took an hour to make the 61% retracement right here. There's where we took off. You can see how quickly we moved you know, 24 handles up here. I mean, it was just very, very fast. But what's interesting now, you'll see on the pullback here, in the last half an hour, all that pullback was able to do, if you go down to your low, up to your high, all we were able to do was make a spot on 382 retracement right there at 43.62. That's a very important point because now if we get above here, we got a chance for this thing to have game to the upside. We've had a sort of a uh, mini type buyers today but you know this market is still very bearish long term there's no other way uh, to put it the reason why is because of what we have going on over here in the treasury bonds as you can see here this is treasury bonds that just keep going lower and lower and they will continue going lower folks they don't have any friends as well they shouldn't because they're looking at a potential here of a price objective roughly between 106.19 and 107, down about eight handles from where we are right now. Eight handles is quite a bit in the Treasury bond market, folks, so we got to pay very close attention. If we blow this up, you'll be able to see that we went from the low up to the high, and the 1.618 expansion is going to take you right down here. What we're looking for is not very far away. There it is at 106 and change, 107, 16, somewhere in this ballpark is where it most probably will come out to a bottom. Now, this is a weekly chart, so if you blew this up just a little bit, and that's what we're going to do here, just to see if we can come up with some other targets. You can see we had a 382 right here on the weekly. Okay, that one we were aware of. Then you go from your high down to your low, and you put the other one in, and that's going to take you to at least 111. And, of course, there's one even farther back than that. So you can see that we're heading down towards the, the 106, 107 level, trading at 115 uh, right now. Okay, now let's move over to the crude oil because we were having some fun on Byron's show here. Um, I want to get this up here to show you where we are. Okay, hold on here. There's a Here's where we were when we were doing Byron Basil's show. I'm sorry, thinking of Byron Tucker. Here's where we were. What we did was we sold this 3A2 retracement. It made the ABCD pattern right here. Well, one of our very astute folks here at TFNN say, hey, why didn't you buy it there? Because it had a double ABCD. And, you know, this is why I do this stuff, folks, because people are really sharp and they see this. You see, this was the ABC that we were looking at right here. There was your 382 right in here. We sold it at 89.98, covered it at, uh, I think we covered it around 62, uh, 88, uh, 89.62. We picked up about uh, seven, $680, went down and made our price objective right here. There was the ABCD. But what he pointed out was very important because now you had at that point, you had a double ABCD. You had the ABCD, there's AB, and there's CD, and that came in at 89.34. So you had two of them there, and look at the nice rally that it had. That rallied from that level here. It rallied, uh, rallied a thousand dollars. That's a that's a pretty good move. Now the pullback, you see, it's just chopping around, doing very little. But anyway, that's what he was watching. The fact that you had a double ABCD pattern there was a very important spot, and I 
have to agree with that 100% because, first of all, you got to agree this son of a gun's been in an uptrend since Hector was a pup, and that dog's 19 years old. So this thing has been really strong, and now we have another ABCD. We missed the big one. See, the big ABCD would have been this one. This is the one you got to pay really close attention to because if we make new lows here, down at this level here, 88.60 or so, 88.78 to 88.60, that'll also be another ABCD. Let's just get it ready, and this uh, maybe that'll happen while we're on the air here. Have some fun. Who knows? There's your AB leg, CD leg, bada bing, bada boom. And it says it could go all the way down to 88.40. The ABCD on this one is 88.70, 88.80. This one's 88.40. Your 1.618 expansion of this swing right here is at 88.60. So that's probably, it's trading at 89.89 right now. So keep an eye on that. Might be an interesting one uh, to take a quick look at, okay? That's what we're watching here. So let's get back here. Um, Oh, say we've got a call. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody rang the bell here. Let's see what this is right now. We've got Mark from Virginia on the line. Go ahead, my friend. What can I help you with? Hello, Mr. Larry Pesavento. Um, I wanted to ask about the Garley pattern that is currently printed on the daily time frame. And what's your view on a Garley pattern that is being formed in an app trend? Is okay, it more now relevant as a continuation of the prevailing trend that has been upward? What's your take on it? There was only one there's only question that I need to ask you, Mark. What yeah. are you talking about? E mini S and P crude oil, what are you talking about? E the, um, yeah, the S&P 500, the S &P on the okay, daily time good. frame. All right, on the daily time frame. Let's get it up here. First of all, what I need to do is I need to go and put this up on the December contract because that's the one that gives you the most accurate data. If you use the ES, what happens is that it, it has missing data. But with the 30-minute, you're going to be able to see it without too much trouble. First of all, there's where we are. I'm going to move it over to the daily, and you'll be able to see it 41.16, 41.20. That's what our goal is right here, is at 41.16. That's where I think we're going to be going. That doesn't mean we can't have a nice rally in here, but I still believe this is an outstanding pattern because it's a perfect A, B, C, D coming in there at 43.18, 43.16. We're trading at 43.74 right now, but that's what I think we're shooting for is that particular A, B, C, D pattern. I see it in the Dow Jones. I see it in the NASDAQ. And I see it in the Russell that we are going to go a little bit lower. But right now, we're having a pretty good rally back. And that was the fact that the Dow Jones held major support down there today, as did the S&P. So the S&P, you know, remember, we were when we started the show. Let's just get it up here to remind everybody. When we were starting the show here, we were looking at several of these patterns. I'll just draw them in. There's where we were. Get this out of the way here because that one has already completed. And yeah, there was I remember the first, you have shown yeah. a bearish pattern on the yeah. S&P also, and that one yes. played out beautifully. Yes, it did. And right now what we're doing is we're, we're still bouncing around right now. It's beginning to look pretty bullish because as I see the pattern here right now, let's get rid of this other one. Does It's out of the way. See, we just made a 382, and look how quickly we've come 12 points back in just a matter of uh, 10 minutes. You see, we made that yeah. number 26, and here we are 12 points higher right away. That tells us this market wants to go yeah. higher. I hope Thank that helps. Thank you very much, that, Mr. You're welcome, Mr. my friend. Thank you. Vote early and vote often. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer, but the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, um, let's uh, take a quick look here at Apple. We, we talked about Apple and Tesla and NVIDIA on the early show that I was doing for Basel today. But I wanted to point out to the fact you can see uh, Apple's had a pretty good correction. Uh, we had a 382 correction of this high. This was from a few days ago. But look, we've held this bottom now, folks, at 174 now. For, and it's trading $2 above that right now. So it's held it for five days in a row. That's a pretty positive thing. We, we, we tried to point that out this morning. And also what we were trying to do was to bring the chart of Tesla up. And I wanted to uh, get it up to let you take a look at it. It was doing the same thing. I just picked these stocks at random, folks. I don't trade them, but people ask me questions about them. And frankly, uh, I don't know too much about them. But let's just take a look here. At Tesla, because, well, I think the best way on Tesla would be the daily first because that is the easiest one to see the uh, retracement levels. Yeah, because this is this was early this morning. Look how much this has moved off the 382 here, folks. Now look, let's let's play the devil's advocate here. Right here, this area right here at 253 is where Morgan Stanley came out with their 440 price objective. The market opened at 260 and went to 280 which was, as you can see right here, the exact 78% retracement of the high. Now we're trading $35 below that. But the low today, the low today, right there at 237, was a perfect 61% retracement of that low right back here. Now, if you think these algorithmic dudes that are working for State Street and uh, Vanguard and BlackRock, uh, Black, uh, BlackRock don't know these numbers, you're very naive, folks. These guys are trained usually with MIT, with Andrew Lowe or uh, D.E. Shaw. 
people like that, the Renaissance with Jim Simmons, they know these numbers. These guys are, you know, they know the square roots of uh, five and all the reciprocals and stuff. So that's why the, the where these numbers come from, not just, you know, the Fibonacci. So when they put these numbers together and you see these numbers pop up, that's why I think they're relatively important. You know, I might be wrong, but that's what we're watching. That's why we thought there might be a pretty good bounce today. And so far, that is, in fact, what happens. That could end in a moment. And I do believe we are going to go substantially lower. But we're, do, we're very oversold, folks. We're down eight days in a row. That Well, actually, we're down since, uh, since, we're down since uh, uh, Rosh, uh, Rosh Hashanah, which was on the 15th of September. Here we are on the 25th, 10 days now, which is uh, uh, Yom Kippur. Selling Rosh Hashanah, buying Yom Kippur is the Hebrew uh, uh, version of stock market cycles. Anyway, but that's, and it comes right out of the Bible, by the way. So that's all this is. This we're having a little bit of a bounce. And uh, it's far more than the usual DCB, the uh, dead COVID bounce, as they say in the uh, annals of uh, hospital parlance. Okay, now we also looked at one other one here. You can see the S&P has, there's where the 382 came in right here off of the low. This is real important, see, because we backed off. And it, it, once we get above this, because this was a perfect A, B, C, D, Gartley right there. There it is. There's your, there's your A, B, C, D, Gartley. I'll draw it in. You'll be able to see it. It went down 12 points, but by golly, if you looked up now, you'd only be up two points on the darn thing. Ah, shucks. Just one second here, and we'll go from the high down to the low. Catch that one. There we go. There's your 61% retracement. Look at this. It had, you had 12 points in it right away. If you look at your PNS statement, you're only up a buck, 100 points, $100. Look how quickly it came back. That's telling you, you get above here, you don't want to be short, you see, because it got there too fast. So it's still still tiny bit bearish, but boy, tiny bit is the key word there. So that's it. Remember now, we made a pretty good, now we made a pretty good bottom here. You're talking about... Uh, 65 handles from the high up here at 244 down to the low here. Look at this. The number was 4341. The low was 4338. And from 4338, it rallied up to 4378. Okay, rallied 40 handles straight up. Well, a little bit of a pullback in here. But those are the kinds of things that we're watching here as we overlook some of these things that we're paying attention to. Okay. Now, I want to get rid of this one because that'll just confuse everything. So I want to move this around. Now, just to say, when you see all these lines that you have on here, folks, that's from when I've been doing previous stuff, you know, talking to other people about, you know, what are these things are looking for. And I'm just looking at these other numbers in here. That's where they come from. When you when you have them t really close together like this, you can, you, you, you can see them okay, but when you put them – together like this when they're in a real small chart they don't mean anything that's when i'm doing these charts window i'll just do tile vertical and i want to talk about something like apple i can just pull apple up i'm done with that one i'm done with tesla now let's take a look at where the money is flowing folks and boy it is not flowing into the euro and it's not flowing in to the uh to the u.s uh, into the british pound by any stretch of the imagination here you can see the high here on sunday night Believe it or not, from your high here down to your low, your 382 came in here at 10640 and it dropped $800 just straight down. Now we have two things to validate this, don't we? Let's just go and do it the right way. We'll take, I'll do one other trade here in just a minute. From the high that we made here down to the low, the 382 on this will come in here at this level right there that'll be coming in at uh, 10610 10605 somewhere in that ball bark right there now that'll be a sale because it's a 382 coming off of that number right here but it'll also be if you measure from your high down to your low it's going to be right at a basically pretty close to a 61 percent retracement so there's your sell zone right there for the euro that's basically what you're trying to do is to find that zone where you've got two numbers coming together and you don't have to risk more than a few hundred dollars, 300 at the most. So that's what we're paying attention to here right now. But it don't always act that way. Let's take a look at something else here. I want to get rid of some of these numbers just to verify a number that is out there that I think is pretty important. If we go from the low right here up to the high, you'll see 
that the 1.618 expansion of this range stopped right on the money. Now, how do you get something that trades a trillion dollars a day to stop exactly at that number and stay there for half an hour? Hello, operator. How do they figure this stuff out? It's beyond me, and I don't know. So we'll have to do one thing at a time as we walk through here. All right, we got one other one, folks, that I forgot to talk about uh, over the weekend, but it was something we've been having on our our list for quite a while. This is December soybean oil going back one, two, three, four, five and a half months. And look where we're setting here today, folks. We're setting right at the 382 retracement at 5740. The low so far has been 5747. It's trading at 5758. Well, I don't think you have to risk very much there, but by golly, that looks like a real interesting one to take a look at. It's uh, We've got several numbers here. What we should do is to blow it up just a little bit to see what the uh, one, you can see it's almost exactly at the 5740, but we need to check the, uh, this will be a 1.27, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, it's a little, almost a little beyond here. Yeah, your 1.618 measures the 56.94. That's a little too much to risk. So if I were to buy it here, it's trading at 57.62. I'd put a stop at 57.32. That's a risk of $180 is all I'd be risking. And that's what I'd be doing if I were doing it. Let's take a look. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. I'm put a chart of the Dow Jones E Mini December contract up going back to June. As you can see here, it was missing some data here, but the lows are correct. Basically, it's showing the December contract. The cash price will be very similar to this, but as you can see here, we've got a 1.618 expansion is what held the market, I believe. But the number we're looking for is another uh, 400 points lower down at 33,700. That's the larger A, B, CD that we have going on right here. So that that's I just want to bring that to your attention. I don't I do trade the Dow Jones secondary to the S&P. I don't trade the Russell hardly ever, but I do do the S&P and then also the Dow Jones and then once in a great great while I'll do the Nasdaq, but uh, not very often. It just jumps around, you know, moves $600 which you can blink your eye. The S&P does pretty good doing that, but the other one is even is even far greater than that. Now, I just noticed here that the uh, S&P did stop at that level that we were looking at up there at uh, 43.73. We did not get above the high. Now let's take a look at it since we're on the air here. We've got a move here. We've come up now. We've got another correction coming here. It looks like we've got an A, B, C, D. We stopped here at the 382, one, two, basically three times. But if we go through here, let's just mark this right now so we can see how these things operate. What we want to see is if the market can do something like this in the S&P. In other words, we make a nice little A pattern up here, a little B pattern there, an A, B, C, D coming down here at the old uh, 4357. So that's where, if you're interested, that would be a, a good spot, especially if you sold your if you sold it up here your profit objective would be reached here. You'd be up about 18 points, risking six. So that would be a that would be a pretty good trade set up for that. So that's one of the ones you might want to pay attention to. And as we say here, all these trades are hypothetical. Never put a real trade on because it might make money. It might scare you. Anyway, that's what we're watching here at 43.58. Uh, Let's just move the uh, limit minder down here just to see if we get there by some wild stretch of the imagination. And then we'll move on to the next one. Let's go back to the other one that we were talking about here, which is the one that has my interest, but I'm afraid it's not going to work. Of course, having fear is not a problem here because we use a stop. Let's move here. I think this is the uh, – oh, we're almost there. Yeah, this is it. Hold on. We're almost there. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We're almost there, folks. We're at 43. The low has been uh, 43, uh, 47, and that's where we're trading right now. Then the 382 is at 47, uh, 40. So 57, sorry, 57, 40. Let's do it on the daily so you can see this thing because, doggone it, let's try the daily. Maybe that'll do it. Yep, it does. There's what we're looking at right there. The number we're watching is 47, 40, and uh, that's what we're watching and we're pretty, pretty much there. It's at 47, uh, 49 right now. Uh, so I would be buying it right here, and I would just go ahead and risk uh, 40, 49. I put a stop at 20, put a stop at 57, 20. So you're risking 30 points. 30 points times six dollars is 180 dollars. Is all you have to risk on this. Okay, that's that's all you have to risk. And believe me. You might be in it less than a uh, speeding bullet, as uh, as Mr. Uh, uh, Clark Kent would say when he did his uh, series for uh, Superman. All right, now let's move on. I want to double check something here. Looking at this picture right here, all I want to do now is go down to an hourly chart to see if this last high that we made right here was a 382 because if it was I have to kick myself in my rear end because that was something I was watching Friday and it might have got away from me because there was your high right here there's your low <laughs> oh no <laughs> uh, ouch I just got kicked in the kabuchi anyway that's a 382 we got to hold this level down in here between this and the crude oil trade folks uh this one is no difference, really. You're just trading a 382. Your risk is small. 
uh, that that's really you don't have to risk very much. That's all I can say. If you made money on that crude oil trade, you can certainly risk 160 bucks. Excuse me, 130. Do wait, six times 180 dollars on the crude oil, putting your stop at uh, 57, uh, 21, and then move on to uh, play the game another way. And let's move back here, and we want to talk about the uh, British pound, folks, because this really, uh, in fact, I've just been invited to go to uh, the UK and do some uh, trading for some hedge fund folks. And so I'm going to be doing that sometime in October, have a little bit of fun. Anyway, look at this. This is the weekly. Remember, we thought it was going to hold here, right there. That was at uh, 20, uh, 230, 123.50. We're 130 points below that right now. If we look at the daily, you'll see it real easily. There's where we were looking at it right here to hold that level. And bada bing, bada boom, you can see <laughs> that didn't hold very long. We knew that back in here. So you you got stopped out right away. And then it just continues to go lower. That's one of those that you think you're going to know something, but it, it's not actually working the way you want it to. So uh, the only thing, you, the only other thing you have in here that would give it any, uh, any help at all, let's just clean this out so we can see it all together here on the British pound. If we go and look from the low that we made way back in March to where we are now, you'll see we're halfway between the 618 and the 786. That's it right at 707. We don't have anything else in here. The only thing that we have is a, well, a couple of small, this is a, this is a daily. So this is an uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is five day rally here. This is an eight day rally here. Let's just double check to see if one of those might have been a 382 from any particular high. So if we went to look at this, there it is right there. There's your first 382 right here. Now we want to check that one. So we get rid of that one, and then we come down and go to this one right here. And uh, this one misses it. So this is the one that it hit. So that tells us you're way below here, and it just keeps going lower and lower and lower. But the only thing, if you had to stretch anything out, it would be this ABCD pattern right here. Coming in at the uh, 1.618, which is, it hit it just now. There it is. There's the 1.618 of that move, this whole move right here. There's the 1.618 expansion at uh, 2186. So uh, that 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 hit it right now. The low has been uh, 21. Uh, where is the low up here? Hold on. 219, 21.936, and we're at 122 already. So it's rallied about. Uh, Eh, 30 pips, not very much, but that's the 1.618 expansion. So if anything was there, that might be it. But boy, talk about grasping at straws. You're right, Johnny, I'm grasping. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if that's going to mean anything or not, but the fact that it made that 1.618 uh, number uh, shouldn't make too much trouble uh, or not. We'll have to do you know, one thing at a time as we look at some of these other here. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648. I'll be happy to answer them. If I can, I didn't have my clock on today, so I was able to miss it. Tomorrow, I'm trying to have Joe DiNapoli as our guest. He was supposed to be on today, but because of technical difficulties, I was not able uh, to do that. Uh, when we come back, I have a request for two stocks, and we'll cover those when we get back from a break. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the high yield junk bond ETF. H Y G, that's the biggest one. Of there's two others. I, I forget what the other one is, but uh, there's one other one that I know of. Anyway, H Y G is the number one. You notice that we're now below the July lows. We tagged that by just a little bit. The market bounced a little bit off that low today, but this is the chart that should scare you the most because this is where the oil companies get their money to go to the small banks through high yield or all junk bonds. That's how Mike Milken made his billions. It's because he realized that these companies couldn't go the regular way to get their money. So he changed the name of the junk bond to high-yielding bonds. And then they made a big business out of it. And uh, they're still high-yielding bonds. Some of them are junk. Some of them are pretty good quality. But I don't know the difference. So I don't, I've never traded an ETF for this. I've never traded an ETF for anything. Well, yeah, I have T TBT or TLT maybe once in a while. But other than that, I don't think I've done any of those things. Uh, anyway, uh, well, GLD, well, a couple anyway. <laughs> anyway, and this is what we're watching here because this thing starts to go down more. Uh, and believe me, I'm surprised that they're even up today. That's a really a shock to me given the fact the bonds where they are. I look at the daily on this and the fact that this thing is actually – uh, oh, it is down. Sorry, I, I misinterpreted. I didn't see the, the lower level, but it is lower. The fact it's a, that this green line means that it's just above the opening. OK, now, I had a, another question about another stock, and that was uh, Alibaba. Let me get that up here. That's one of uh, Sarah's favorites. She brought this on the original opening here. Many, many years ago, I got so many ABCs in here. Holy cow, there's a bunch of them. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, get rid of some of these just to see where we are here with Alibaba right now. It actually is acting. Uh, it's actually acting pretty good because it's got it's up a little bit today. And uh, let's clean this out a little bit and get it to uh, see where we are. Okay, let's just go from uh, this area right in here. You can see the ABCDs on the way up. There's A, B, 
C, D, you got another A, B, C, D on the way down. You got an A, B, C, D to the downside. We're going to draw them in so that everybody gets to see them. There's your uh, your bigger A, B, C, D is right there. A, B, C, D doesn't quite uh, get to this uh, to this level, so we might have more to go to the downside, but we held. And let's see if we held a 78% level off of the other low. And, uh, oh, boy, that was uh, comes within about a half a buck. Then we had the gap up. And now this is where we are uh, today. We're, we're way above the opening, but this is where it opened, and we're way above it right here. That's why you're seeing the green bar. So it's still got a chance, even though it is uh, relatively, uh, uh, you know, a little bit away from the 786. It missed the 786 by, uh, wow, 70 cents on an $83 stock. So that's pretty close. Now, one of the things when you're doing a Gartley pattern like this, uh, Gartley, you know, always use price, but you can also use time. And what I like to do is I'll go over and I'll measure from the high down to the low. I want to see how many days it takes to get the same. Because if you have time going down in the same way that it is here, you have time and price squared up if it comes down by by 14 days. So you go over, you go over to your high right here and you bring it down. And the 14th day is today. There it is right there. So this might be a pretty good bottom here uh, in uh, Alibaba today. Let's see. On a, Just going to a 60-minute, let's see, or 13-minute, let's see if it opened right at a 61% retracement. That would have been really nice from your low up to your high. Oh, this no good. You missed it by uh, <laughs> 10 cents. So you can't really count that because that's way off. $64 stock, missing it by 10 cents. Holy cow, that's a that's an absolute fortune. Anyway, that's what I'd be watching here uh, with Alibaba today. That's how, if I were trading a stock, that's what I'd be looking at that. So we'll get those out of here. And then uh, we've got just a few minutes left. Let's just see how anything's happening with that, uh, that bean oil that we were looking at. And we'll just get it up here right now. Oh, my goodness, it's up to 58 now. So you've made some money. So keep your oh it hit the exact lows folks 40 57 40 that was the number we were looking for and son of a gun it went right to it you know sometimes these numbers actually work so put your uh, uh, eyes on that and uh, put your low right below uh, just put your stop uh, one tick below so you're only going to risk six dollars so if it hits 57 39. You'll say, thank you very much, and I'll pay the $6, a bag of peanuts at a baseball. Well, that would be $12 for peanuts at a baseball game nowadays, but that's what it used to be back in the old days of Dizzy Dean. Well, Dizzy Dean was there. It was a buck for peanuts, but that's been a, that's been 2,000 years ago. Most of you folks don't even know who Dizzy Dean happens to be. Okay, one other chart that some folks have asked us about is the uh, – hold on. Let me see. It's Black – it is right there. Black Rock right here. Let's get this up here. Show you, this is a company that owns it all, baby. This is BlackRock, and they got lots of money. And here's where they are. You can see it, it trades. It's a, I get, this is the stock itself. It's not an ETF. But, you know, we had a, let, let's get rid of the, uh, the uh, patterns in here. We don't need to see that. We'll delete it all. And all we want to see is what happened after here. We had the ABCD pattern go right up to here. You had another ABCD. Your first retracement, your first serious retracement. On this nice run here, let's see how close it was to 382. Goes uh, between the 382 and the 50%. Seven, wow, look at 705. Between 701 and 712, somewhere in there. Look where it is now. And this is still down on the day. To me, it looks like it's got more, quite a bit more to go to the downside. More of the level like this, AB equals CD. So that's something that we could get down here to 613 without too much trouble and it makes good sense because if oops get rid of this here out of the way here where is this trading at it still hasn't gotten down to that level yet okay this is what we're looking at on blackrock you've got an a a b a c and a d so you've got another big a b c d that is probably controlling the whole gamut and there it is a b c d there's where we're going somewhere between uh six six oh i'd say six fourteen 595, 607s at 1.618. I'd be watching BlackRock at that point. That would be a really good uh, place to take a look at it. What I'm going to do now is put the limit minder in on this at some day that it might hit it, and it'll ring a bell, and we'll go back and see if it was right or not. That's uh, 
That's what I sort of like to do is I'm watching these things unfold. Remember, tomorrow's guest is hopefully going to be um, Joe Tanapoli, and then maybe I can get uh, uh, Stan Harley later this week. He's been in the process of moving. He should be pretty good. I'm hoping Tim Bost comes back one of these days. He's still under the weather a bit, but uh, I sure miss him as a guest. And I believe we should have had Mr. Winsky on uh, today uh, because we had that big uh, – no, when is the full moon is coming up on the 29th? I'll bet you Norman wants to be on on the 29th, but we'll wait and see if he does or not. Not a big deal. But well, it is a big deal because we like to have him on, and that full moon is coming up here on the 29th. But the 23rd, which was the equinox, the autumn equinox, that that's a really big thing uh, in the uh, folks that watch uh, things with uh, astronomical implications. So. That's uh, pretty much it right now. And, okay, let's move on here to what's the next one we got up here to pay attention to. The gold will be the last one here. I'm still looking. I think we're going to get down here, 1913 in the gold. So let's keep our powder dry. We just made the 382 heading lower, it looks like. So that's it. We'll be right back, folks, 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I want to tell you about something that I heard this morning. Uh, I was watching Bloomberg early this morning about... Uh, 
oh, about a half, half about an hour before the opening, and they had a nice young lady on, probably in her late twenties, early thirties, and uh, she said she just couldn't understand why the interest rates were affecting uh, so much stuff uh, in the market because the bond market is the best place to put your money. And I I thought I maybe misheard her, but then she basically repeated it. And uh, uh, Tom Keene, who was on, said, uh, you know, it's been going down for about three years. And, of course, she made her uh, talk about zero interest rates and some other stuff that I quite didn't understand. But to her to make a comment like that, I don't know. I don't remember what her name was or anything, and I'm glad I didn't because I didn't want to make anybody mad. But you know, folks, all you have to do is just look at a, as a bond chart. And you can see that's where the problem is. It's not in the stock market. Stock market's being pulled down by the bond market, but the bond market is where the trouble is, and that's six times the size of the uh, of the stock market. So you've got to pay real attention to that. We've been trying to focus on that every day here. And sometimes it goes through, sometimes it doesn't. But this thing is going lower. It wants to go lower enough. It comes in one of these days and rallies two and a half for three points. It's going to be nothing more than a short covering rally. And even the rallies now, look at them, folks. They rally a point, point and a half. And the next thing you know, you blink your eyes and they're making new O's. That's telling you there's, there's selling coming in. And that means the Federal Reserve must be heavily involved in that market and they have to get rid of it. So anytime it rallies, they sell it. And I, I know they don't like to sell into a hole, but if they've it from the wrong side of this, you know, that I'm, I'm not going to get into that. Let's move on to something else. All I'd like to say is make sure you take care of your neighbors, folks, no matter what you have to do, whether it's take them to the pharmacy, take them to the market or buy them a meal. Try to help folks out because it's uh, very, very important. Living tough times. See you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. May God bless. Bye.